Hey YouTube, I wanted to show you the, the ShamWow, or the SS ShamWow I guess we'll call it. It's a 20, uh, Regal 2100 LSR, uh, bow rider, cruiser, uh, Merc cruiser in the back. And uh, had the stock system in it when I bought it, and the stock system sucks. Uh, I guess it's good if you're just idling around, um, you just need some background music, but I wanted a little bit more from it. So, um, I started to put together the world's cheapest uh, boat system, uh, because I didn't want to spend a lot, but I definitely wanted it to sound better. So, I started off with this JVC deck. Uh, it's a, let's see if I can get it to zoom in. There we go. Uh, it's the R870BT, so it's got Bluetooth, which is nice. I actually mounted the uh, microphone right there. <laughs> kind of cheesy, but um, for hands-free while I'm cruising in the boat, that's kind of cool. But the real reason I bought that deck uh, was because it, uh, unlike a lot of decks in this price range, because this is not an expensive deck, maybe $100, um, the EQ settings and options are absolutely out of control there's nothing you can't control change set up uh, set cutoffs um, it'll uh, it's actually set up for three different for a three-way system you can set cutoffs for tweeters mids and obviously sub cutoffs you can adjust the gains on those cutoffs you can adjust the curve on those cutoffs you can adjust I don't remember how many points the the EQ is but plenty of them maybe a 12 or a 15 point EQ um, so for a deck around 100 bucks Bluetooth and that kind of audio custom ability, it, it, it's pretty awesome. Um, so I slapped that guy in uh, to start with. I then went and upgraded the um, the five and a quarters. I went to six and a halfs. So those are some Alpines uh, in kind of midship, I guess, on each side. I've got a couple more tucked under the rear seat, which is going to be tough to see. And then I also have two more that for that fire forward. Uh, I'm not going to take the cover off the bow rider portion right now. Actually, I'm getting ready to put it away. Uh, but there's two more that fire forward into the bow rider section that weren't originally there. Uh, for base, um, I ended up tucking a bazooka base tube, which, you know, they've been around forever. I never bought one. I always kind of wrote them off as a joke, but I needed some cheap base. So this is the, uh, this is just the 8 inch. It's the dual voice coil 8 inch. And uh, I just put it in maybe an hour ago, and I've really pushed it pretty hard. I can't believe how much sound you get out of that thing. It's being driven by an Audiobond um, 2002, uh, A2002T amp, somewhere around 200 watts RMS, which is perfect for that 8-inch sub. Uh, I bridge the amp, and I combine the, the uh, dual voice coil sub side of it just to knock the impedance down and get a little bit more efficiency out of the amp so it's probably pushing 250 um, RMS to, to that little sub and it, it sounds awesome it's tucked right up under the helm so you don't see anything when you're in the boat and I don't lose any leg room at all if you kind of go down here so this stuff's tucked up it's out of the weather out of the way that's they do make a marine a bazooka makes a marine tube I didn't bother spending the money for that this one was like 118 bucks on Amazon the marine one was like 180 and I swear the only difference is it's painted white uh, because it's not an amplified sub, it's not like they're, you're waterproof in electronics or anything, so I, I see no reason to pay for it. And it's tucked up right where, essentially, the back of your head unit is anyway, so these things will last in boats forever, because it never gets wet. So that should be good. Um, see what I get on the radio. Obviously, like uh, any demonstration for audio on YouTube, it's only as good as the speakers you're listening to, and how good the microphone is in my phone, which neither of them are anywhere near what they probably should be. So, uh, I'll turn it up just so you can hear it, but you're gonna have to trust me, it, it sounds really good for that money. Hopefully my mic picked up, picked that up, but it, it definitely pounds, and it's nice and crisp and clear, so I couldn't be happier. And I probably got maybe, i probably, I bet you I'm under 400 bucks uh, for the whole thing, about 80 bucks on the Alpines, or 70 bucks for the Alpines for each pair. 
Deck's 100 bucks. Sub's 118. I had the amp kicking around, but you can pick something up like that for 100 bucks or so. So uh, for short money, uh, it definitely uh, definitely is gonna make the boat a whole lot more enjoyable too. So uh, I think that's about it. That covers that. Have a good day.